Cassandra. There he is. I heard you coming, you know. I wasn't trying to sneak. Mm-hmm. It's good to see you. They've missed you. You know there's nowhere else I'd rather be. Adventure calls to people like us. For so long, my purpose was Persia. She was all I could see. But a parent's duty is not to their ambition. It's to their family, Cassandra. How's my boy? Oh, he's in terrible danger, Cassandra. Elpidios is missing. What? <laughs> Playing hide and seek. Again? You know, it was Natakas' favorite game too when he was Elpidios' age. Is Elpidios at the usual spot? <laughs> he loves that beach. Make sure you find the boy. I always do. After you, that is. Come, the beach is this way. You're still quite fast, Darius. Maybe you're just getting old. <laughs> I faced walls of flame. The sky's black with arrows. And more beasts and blades than... Heracles himself, but none match parenthood. It's a different kind of battle. You'll do fine, Cassandra. You are doing fine. How ever could Elpidios be? Elpidios! Who is eh? Mother's coming to find you. Elpidios loves splashing around in the water jars. I wonder... Is my little warrior here? <laughs> hm. Guess not. A tent. We used to sleep in one and watch the stars together. That's where he must be. <laughs> oh, no. Elpidios sure is great at hiding. This shipwreck looks like it can hide Elpidios and his pater. You. Whoa! Isn't Mater a mighty Mystios? She will surely tell tales of this epic adventure for years to come. Don't forget to pay the Mystios for her heroic services. Ah, my usual rate. Welcome home. I've missed you, my love. Both of you. Darius sent me a note. Something about the celebration? We figured it was time for a little family gathering. And it's not a family gathering without a great feast. Elpidios and I will prepare the boar, won't we? <laughs> boar? That takes me back. Cassandra and I will go look for some shellfish. We'll have the fire ready by the cliff. See you later, little warrior. Come, Cassandra. It's been a while since we've had some time to ourselves. Darius seems happier with Elpidius around. Grandchildren have a mysterious effect on people. But I'm surprised you can tell behind all that beard.
you think El Pedius will be when he grows up? You mean, will he join the family business and spend his days mysteriousing across the Greek world? It's not a bad life. I've got a boat. A ship, even. <laughs> He'll be whatever he wants. He'll be more. He'll be our son. This is a nice bright spot. Ooh, perfect size for Elpidios. It's been a while since I had shellfish. Spending time with you like this is... I like this. Me too, Cassandra. Me too. So... Do you think Elvidius looks more like me? Or like you? <laughs> You're probably right. <gasps> it should do for our feast. You might have left some for everyone else. <laughs> Let's head back to the cliff before Father returns. There's something I wanted to show you. The cliff is this way. With Elpidius around, it's been hard to get time together. He's a very demanding little boy. He gets that from his mother. This view is just... Breathtaking. You said you had something to show me. <laughs> Maybe. Don't keep me waiting. We need to be quick about this. I haven't lost my touch, have I? It was great, <laughs> but this isn't why I brought you here. Ah. I brought you here to show you this. This looks like a charm of some sort. My mother gave it to me when I was a child. This will keep you safe. May it see you through any storm. She was right. It brought you here. I wish I'd met her. But now, I don't need it anymore. Attack us! I will never fail you or Elpidius. You have my word. I know. Here he comes. Here comes my big man. Elpidius is hungry. Well, he's had a big day out with his grandfather Darius. attack us. Elpidius can stay up a little later. He needs his rest. He's had too much fun today. I should come with you. We'll be fine. Say bye-bye, Elpidius. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> <laughs>
This is it, Darius. A simple life. to the village. Now, go! Don't worry, I'm coming. Mother's coming. Vilnius! Hold on! Elvidius! Elvidius! Where's... Has anyone seen my son? Artabanus, Cassandra, welcome home. Orondas? You are with the Order. He is the Order. Amorgus. I trusted you. Helped you. My friend, it's been far too long. We were protectors, Amorgus. Champions of the people. This is wrong. This is necessary. I take no pleasure in this. I needed to draw you in. It's you I want, Cassandra. You and your bloodline. Don't you dare touch him! Cassandra, go! You Get the fuck out of my way! Who else? Eh? Who else? Bring me your bones! Go! Get Elpidios out of here. We live together. No. I will make sure the Order can't catch up to you. There's too many. You don't have to do this. We've no time to argue. Go! Think about the child. I love you, Natakas. Father, come back to me. Keep them safe. Promise me. I promise. Ugh! <laughs> 
one comes at my family! No one lives! No one lives! You! Uh, and be this! Hold on! Father, come back to us. Where is the eagle bearer? And the child! It's me you're after. Here I am.
Amorgus. Did you see him? No. The beach. You promised to protect them. You promised to keep them safe. I should have stayed behind. I sh should have been with them. <laughs> it's my fault. I did this. We're supposed to pay for our pasts, for our mistakes, not our children. There's no sign of Elpidius. He's still alive, that is. I know it. If the Order have him, we can find him. you loved before. How... How did you survive? Who said I survived? Thank you. For all of it. Every wonderful, painful, beautiful moment. For every moment spent with you. I love you, Matakas. I'll find our boy. I'll bring him home. Trust me. Cassandra. By the gods. Oh, I am sorry. The Order did all this. This weaponry they brought would make even Ares turn his head. 
There's only one place in the Greek world that makes anything like it. Messenia. They came for us. For me. If the order is in Messenia, that's where I'll go. These kills were clean. Calm down! Oh, it Laka. wasn't real! It was! I saw it! It was a moving shadow! Oh, Kion is Someone's on a rampage. Darius! Eagle Bear. Never thought I'd find you here. Count yourself lucky. I didn't mistake you for one of them. What are you doing in Messimia? If Elpidios is alive, he's with Amorgus. And Messenia is Amorgus' stronghold. Looks like you figured that much out on your own. But it'll be hard to find him. He's too well insulated. There must be a way to flush him out. I have some ideas. Amorgus has the entire Spartan army at his back, led by some of his most trusted commanders. It will be tough to get to him unless we weaken his forces. We can do that. The Order has a large production line for their weapons. There is a commander behind it all. Start by speaking to the Ilotes. They might know where he is. Also, the Cult of Cosmos is reinforcing the Order in Messenia, and an Order commander, Democratis, is in charge of seeing that through. If we cut him down, the Cult will no longer be in our way. I'm good at culling the Cult. And there's one more thing. I've heard that the Order has captured an Athenian general. He is integral to my plans. You will need to free him and give him this letter. And then I get Elpidius. I'll get it done. We'll strike them hard and fast. We? Oui? It will be faster and more efficient if there's two of us. Getting Elpidios back is my top priority. I'll tolerate you until then. Good. The feeling is mutual. I've wasted enough time here. Come back when you finish disrupting the order. There's more to be done. He is. Found him. I see him. What? Free at last! I'm forever indebted to you, friend! Who's there? You, my life, Mystios. May the gods watch over you.
thank you. The gods will not forget your actions, Mistyos. Rodi is. Who's that? You saved me. Thank you, Mistyos. Have you seen the Elot named Rodi? Yes, she was taken to the center of Epia. I heard she's going to meet her end there. The town center. I should hurry. That's what you get for taking what isn't yours. Your death shall be a warning to them all. I don't care who the food belongs to. We were hungry. If you're here for the show, I think you'll have a clearer view from down there with the rest. Who are you? I'm here for this woman. Ah, she got caught stealing from the kitchens again. We're under strict instructions from the commander to ensure that stops today. I need her alive. Release her and no one gets hurt. There's a price for everything, Mistyos. We'll need Drachmi to replenish our food supplies. I'll pay for her. <laughs> well then, it seems that I forgot about the extra cost for our troubles. Torture is hard work, you know. Double it and I'll give her to you. Hades! Don't give him a single drachma! Shut up! Fine. Take your payment. Actually, there's... Don't push it. Okay, okay. Take these filthy malakas and go. That was close. Thanks, Mistyos. Good thing you came along. Bye. Wait! I'm looking for the commander. I was told you know something about him. The commander? Oh, I know him all right. <laughs> Brings back fond memories. I used to work for that Malakas. Point me to the commander, and I'll stick my blade through his throat. You're looking to kill him? Mm-hmm. Great. Things are happening in Messinia, Mistyos. Look at how we're suffering, how the children suffer. There must be something better out there for them. I have a plan to get the children away from here. My son and the others. Help the children and I'll help you. I'll do it. But you better tell me where the commander is. So kind of you, Mistyos. I promise you'll find your target. Just don't gut him in front of the children. What's your plan to get the children out? We have a fisherman nearby who is being paid handsomely for the job. We need to take the children to his boat near the docks. But we need to leave soon. Time is almost up. Lead the way. Follow me. little pebble. No time to talk. We need to go. Now. Who's this? A mysterious friend. She's going to help us get out of here. Alright, everyone. Matter says to follow the mysterious. Stay in the group so we don't get lost. Stay in the group so we don't get lost. <laughs> this is serious! 
Do you have a hero name, Miss Pierce? A hero name is a cool name only the greatest, bestest heroes have. It is usually a combination of a cool animal and the weather. Tell her your hero names, children. <laughs> Mine's Wolfstorm. Mine's Sark Lightning. Roar. Mine's... Uh, He's uh, Dick in Rain. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I would find you here, Eagle Bearer. You caught me. They were right. You're always at the center of the chaos. Now, why don't you step aside and let me do my job? I'll deal with you. And you after I take the children away. They have work to do. Leave the children out of this. <laughs> I'm going to have fun watching you drown in your own blood. Time to die! Cover your eyes! Oh, no. Shut up! You children are too noisy! Why don't you choose one for me? Hmm. Oh, oh, eagle something. Since she has an eagle. Eagle thunder. Perfect. You're one of us now. You did it! It's time for you to go, little pebble. You're... not coming? I can't. I have to stay here and work hard so I can visit you one day. No! No! Where's my mother? Where's my mother? <laughs> I can't be without you, Matter. Who will hug me when I have a bad dream? Mistyos, I... I'm not sure. Now that we're here, I don't know if I can bear to send them away. <laughs> don't make us go, please! You have to go. Messinia is crawling with danger. It's not safe for children. But what about our parents? What will happen to them? They want what's best for you. Now go. The boat is waiting. Kere, my pebble. Things will be better for them out there. You're right. If the children stayed, I don't know if we'd be able to protect them. I hope they have a better life ahead. Better than we could have given them. We will always fight for our children. Always. And you got your commander. Thank you, Mistyos. May our paths cross again. That's the meeting place. What do you know about this man in Amorgis' inner circle? Democratis. Drachmi is his weapon of choice. If we kill him, the Order's ability to influence the Greek world will be severely damaged. His death will bring us one step closer to Amorgis. 
to Elpidios. I like Drachmi, but it can't buy the kind of edge my blades provide. Not when I'm driven to find my son. There's only one problem regarding Democratis. What's that? I don't know what he looks like. Then we'll have to listen closely when we approach. If anything goes wrong, remember, it's Democratis we're after. The order has arrived. You're late. We arrived precisely when we meant to. Remember, once Democratis shows himself, we kill him. Or we can kill everyone. I'm assuming you brought what we need. We're not sure we're giving you any more. You don't make that call. This is the way it's always worked. You provide the drachmi, we have the weapons, the Spartans, and the war. You get what you want, we get what we want. Not anymore. You need to prove to the Order you're worth what we're paying. <laughs> I know your entire organization have allowed themselves to be pinned and mounted by this Mystios and her pet bird. Consider this your final chance to do your duty and back us up. You clearly don't know the Eagle Bearer. And who are you to throw away our alliance? As far back as Xerxes, you've been working together towards peace. Peace? Don't lecture me about peace. You're the ones who plunged the Greek world into Oro. endless conflict for your own benefit. You think we don't know? Hey. <laughs> and Morges was right. <laughs> How far? Keep paying, and we'll keep our end of the deal. This meeting is over. So we continue the arrangement? Democratis! That's him. That's Democratis. I've got to return to Darius. Democratis is dead. They deserve to die for what they've done, Darius. Every last one of them. Cassandra. They're between Elpidios and me. Must be the Athenian Darius was talking about. You. What are you doing here? Rescuing you if you keep your voice down. You say this way. Bless you. Oh, thank you. What do I call you? Call me whatever you want. I'm in a hurry. 
Right, right. It's these Malake Spartans. We desperately need to loosen their grip on this region. Will you help us? At the moment, I'm not a big fan of the Spartans. Or their friends. The Persians. You know. I know those Kert Spartans are richer than I've ever been, and should have run out of resources years ago. I was told to give you this. Uh-huh. It seems we have common enemies. I can help you and your allies with your plan, but to do it we must kill the Spartan leader here, in Messenia. What's so special about this particular Spartan? He is a butcher. He's killed more Athenians than anyone, and he takes joy in it, I tell you. We know his location, but my men and I haven't been able to get close to him. You'll find it easier with me around. There. That's his fleet. Oh. His fleet, you say? Lucky we got out of that alive! Let's go! Much for the big, bad spot in Pochi. That Spartan dog is just a memory now. You did it? A Spartan butcher was no match for me. Of course. So, about the letter you gave me? I'll need you to live up to your end of the bargain, if you want the Persians out of Messenia. Uh, you can count on our help when you are ready. We've weakened the order. Now what? Now we move on to the next part of the plan. We'll take the order down under the cover of night. I have an Athenian general to speak with. I'll return to the lumber yard to prepare our next steps. What are you doing here, child? I have a note for you, Eagle Bearer. A man in a mask told me to take it to you. Man with a mask? Meet me at the graves in Epia. What is the order up to? Eagle Bearer, well met. I see you got my note. Hmm, I'm surprised I'm still alive. That could change. Hasty. No need to be hasty, Eagle Bearer. Let me introduce myself. My name is Yergis, the last Magi of the Order. I've been eager to meet you, Cassandra. May I call you as such? I don't really care what you call me. Confident. I like that. Give me one good reason not to put my blade through your throat. Where is Amorgis? Where is my son? I have the answers you seek, Cassandra. I know what happened in Ahea, in the village called Dime. Dime? What do you know? Tell me! I was there. Things are never what they seem. Your reality is limited to what you perceive. Ride with me. I've been wanting to speak to you. I'll show you how beautiful our world can be. Shall we? One wrong move. I understand. The smallest doubt can destroy the greatest confidence. And we all have doubts. This way. Where are you taking me? Somewhere nice. I want to learn more about you. I don't trust you. I followed your journey from the beginning. I've written quite a bit about you, actually. In fact, some of my most popular work is about the Eagle Bearer. In addition, I've heard of your tales from our friends. The cult? I didn't think the cult made friends. <laughs> Allies, then, if you prefer.
Ella. I've written many stories scattered across the Greek world. I spread the word of our doings, of our heroic deeds. Heroic? You call murdering innocents and burning villages heroic? Narrow. The Order yeah. sees things from a broader perspective. We do not seek ephemeral peace. Our work is eternal. Look up. Come on. Look around yeah. us. Such promise. You must be wondering why we hunt you. I've killed enough of you to have an idea. Ah, you're a force of nature, Cassandra. Have you noticed? Danger is drawn to you like vultures to a butterfly. And so we simply cannot allow you to exist. You'd kill someone because of their blood? Disgust me. We are not the enemy. Have you considered yourself? In our eyes, you are the manifestation of turmoil. The disruptor of peace. Don't be so quick to judge, Cassandra. There are many perspectives. Look at that view. Messenia. Quite a beauty, isn't she? Get to the point. I know what happened in Dime. How Natakas died. Are you brave enough to hear the truth? I want to know everything. We saw no one at the beach that day. No Natakas, no child. They had escaped. Oh, so we thought. Until we heard a cry. It was coming from a ship, wrecked on the shore. The soft but unmistakable cry of a child. Elpidius. There was nowhere to run. Natakas tried to resist, but it was futile. The baby? was all that remained. I will find Amorgis. I'm sure he would expect you to try. What do you want from me? Our stories are written by a rare few who have the power to shape them. It's not every day I can speak to someone like you. There are no absolutes, Cassandra. Not even with tainted ones. You are fireborn with the potential to destroy, but also to warm, to cast a light in the dark. A warmth you try to destroy? People die, Cassandra. Eventually we'll all be forgotten, fading away like a distant dream. Our actions, however, if they're meaningful, will be remembered. Tell me. What do you want to be remembered for? I want to be remembered as someone who helps others in need. Hmm, insights. Such wonderful insight. Thank you. And now we must part. The question is, will you allow me to live with my life? I can't let you live. Not now. Not ever. We are what we choose. I will live and die by my choices. Know this. You cannot stop the Order. Even in our deaths, we live on. We are everywhere, now and in the future. It was a pleasure to meet you, Cassandra.
that is. We meet again, Eaglebearer. Good, you're back. Now to set our plan in motion. We will set several fires. The smoke will force the Ilotis to flee and draw Amorgus' guards down from the mine. Striking at the heart of the enemy while minimizing the cost of innocent lives. A wise plan. I will see to it that my men light up the rest of the area. What happened? Natakas died protecting Elpidius. Someone from the Order wanted to meet with me. He was there, Darius. They found Natakas in the shipwreck. He tried to fight them all. This was Natakasus. I haven't had a chance to... Uh, I forgot I even took it. He's gone. He's really gone. And he's never coming back. You're right. He's gone. We have to move on. For Elpidios. We'll have time to grieve when this is over. Right now, we know Elpidios is alive. It's time to get him back. If Amorgus is here, Elpidios must be as well. Once we start, we can't go back. They will come at us with all they've got. It's time to attack. The price may be... everything. I know the price. to find the boy. It is. Where is Amorgus? The mines! But you'll never get around his defenses! I'll crush his defenses, and then I'll kill him! You're insane! Both of you! You're going to tell Amorgus that the Eagle Bearer, the great disruption of the Greek world, is here, at his door. You tell him I'm coming for him. 
for el videos. And I don't knock. I'll take care of the order guards. I need to get to the mines. I'll take out as many as I can on the way. Keep away! Got to be careful not to get spotted. She must be here somewhere. You can't hide from me, Amorgis! It's too quiet. Stop hiding, Amorgis! Come get what you deserve! Better. Cassandra. Where is... Amorgues? He's in the temple above the mines. But that time will come. She's just like Yeris described in his entries. Fierce. Oh, Yeris. He was the best of us. You were his favorite character, Eagle Bearer. And yet, you murdered him. I had no choice. But I'd kill him again if needed to get to Amorius. We have no intention of walking away. I'll get to my son. <laughs> Elpidios. She still has her littlest warrior in her heart. She still has. Oh. <laughs> what a foolish thing to hold on to. <laughs> <laughs> We will fight for Persia until our dying breath, the lives, the raised cities. It is for Amurge's vision of peace, his grand design. All things are permitted. This is in the temple. I'm coming, Elpidios. I'll fight you. Calm, aren't they? Moments like these, the moments before the end. If you've hurt my son, nothing will protect you. No man, no beast, no god. He's safe with me, Cassandra. Happy, healthy. And I promise you, he always will be. Where is Elbidios? Where is my son? Far from war. Far from danger. Far from you. I once swore to the people I loved I would crush the Order. Believe me, I will keep that promise. You think you can destroy us? <laughs> 
The Order's plan goes well beyond you, Cassandra. What? Ever the hero, thinking this is all about you. This isn't about any one of us. It's about that most precious of things, peace. This war between Athens and Sparta threatens to incinerate more than just the Greek world. The carnage and butchery have spread to Persia and beyond. The Order has the power to save the world. And so we will. My agents are rooted deeply in every aspect of Greek life. We have seeped into your establishments, your temples, your homes. We are winning the hearts of your people. Through the Order's influence and Persia's wealth, Sparta will end this war. A new chapter in history will be written. By us. We have planted a seed in the fertile soil that is the Greek people. And now, peace will grow. Only one threat to that peace remains. You. How could you think I... I don't want a war. I want my son. You don't want a war? You brought one to my door. You're a tainted one. The strongest, most dangerous force the Order has ever seen. You are fire. Only you stand in the way of the Order's purpose. You've forgotten our promise, old friend. Artabanus. I wondered when you'd make your dramatic entrance. Think of the innocent lives that were lost, Amorgis. You claim to want peace, but what good is peace when it's enforced by tyranny? I fought for the greater good, for our children, for their futures. I saved your grandson, and I saved Artaxerxes that night. Do you remember? I saved him from you. Tell us where Elpidios is. I'm sorry. As long as I breathe, I will never endanger the child by letting her raise him. Where is Elpidios? Tell me! Tell me! With you, he'll never be safe! My son! Do you remember the truth I whispered in the ear of King Xerxes? Remind me, old friend. All the Order's power, they could not protect you. Not from me. We must protect the people we love, Amorgis. That's what I'm doing. Where is the child? It's a safer hand than yours, Darius. Turn my son and your pain will end, Amorcus. Never!
The sun rises, but she also sets. My time is over, old friend. We were protectors, Amorgus. We were champions of Persia. Of the people. I still am our Hobanos. I only wanted to keep our home safe. The world safe. The child, Amorgus. Please. He's on a small island, just off the coast of Messenia. Perfect spot for fishing. The Order will never give up, Cassandra. You and your boy will always be hunted. And he will always have me to protect him. The Order aren't just a group of people. They're an idea. An idea cannot be beaten. An idea cannot be destroyed. Not by blades, but through knowledge. Through wisdom, through ideas of our own. Nothing is absolute, Amorgus. You taught me that a long time ago. There will always be tyrants. And there will always be you, my brother, to stop them. Go in peace, old friend. If Amorgis was true to his word, Elpidios will be there. Hold on. Just hold on. Watch over my son. Every day, every night, Amorgis made sure of it. Thank you. You know, he has a real Spartan appetite. <laughs> Tell me about it.
Mother has got so many stories to tell you. Oh, and you've got some stories for Mother too, I see. Who are you? I am Darius. Son of the Persian king, Artaxerxes. Artaxerxes? You know my father. We've met, but it's been a while. He's a good king and a great father. Persia knows peace. She prospers. I miss him. Keep Persia safe. That is his legacy. Time. Just a moment longer. It has to be now. What will you do? Marcus was right. I am fire. I'll use that. A beacon to the Order. If they want to come after my bloodline, they'll know exactly where to find me. But they'll never find... And... What will you do, Darius? Order was created for a purpose. If I can understand our enemy, I can outmaneuver them. I will protect the boy, Cassandra. Be a guardian to Elpidios and to all those who share his blood. When the day comes, when he asks of his matter, <sighs> what should I tell him? Tell him he had a mother, and a father who lived incredible lives, who saw incredible things, and none of it was as incredible as him. His smile, his love, the sight of him asleep in my arms. Should the day come where he feels unloved or alone, you tell him there is no such day, because he will always be loved. You hear me? You will always be loved. You'll fight, and you'll fall. There will be times when you'll think you can't rise again. You'll want to stay down. But you will get up and be this. Because you're strong. Because our bloodline is strong. And because we always get up. You'll ask why. And while you'll never know me, know this. 
You are my son, and I'll always fight for you. You and those that will come after. Morgus is dealt with, and I have his blade. But it's useless. Broken, and the metal is strange. I should find a blacksmith. Copis or Cofinos? What do you need? Have you ever seen anything like this before? Zeus's balls! Do you know what this is? Broken? It's adamantine! This stuff is priceless! And I don't mind telling you, I'm the one man in the islands who knows how to properly work it. I'll need more adamantine to fix it, though. I, I, a lot more. Will this help? The metal looks similar. What the...? Where in Hades are you getting this stuff? No, I, I don't want to know. Is this enough to repair the sword? I wish I could say yes, but then I'd be lying. Bring me more, and I'll make your sword fit for a god. You're back. Oh, you got it, didn't you? smell adamanti and you smell good here don't tell me you need more because i've run out of necks to cut it from oh, there's a real passion behind your words i can feel it i'm personally glad to say that these will do the blood on them is a nice touch by the way helps with the quenching i do what i can wait here this won't take long 